It is with a heavy heart that we report the death of His Royal Highness, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Well, as Queenie's, that hurts. Oh, Dave's standing. Yes, as he should. Well, get up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, that's going to be bad for these cameras. If you're queenie. I'm not getting up. I <laughs> uh, just stood up. The queen oh, salute. Oh, man. As you can imagine, the, the news hit the United States early Friday. So it was already midday there in England. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is that they stopped all regular programming on BBC One and BBC Two. And they ran special programming. The same programming on both channels. Immediate, almost immediately, there was a complaint line set up for people saying, enough with the coverage. <laughs> Are you so... Well, because it was multiple, it yeah. was the same programming on multiple channels. Yeah. You know, it was as if NBC and MSNBC and CNBC were all showing the exact same shows at the exact same time. And they have fewer channels than we do. Well, true, but if that happened in the United States, something equivalent, you would get all the networks showing. If the president, for instance, mm -hmm. passed away. Yeah, but he's the leader of the... I mean, you, there's succession that has to go on. I mean, with royalty dying, I kind of understand what they're saying. I mean, really? it gets old after a while. Really? I mean, what, do you, what do you talk about? I mean, he's dead. The, the royal family's not going to say much. Mm -hmm. Well, but you can certainly show all the old film clips. You can, kind of but you know they'll have a special. and They'll be doing it all week. And oh, yeah. apparently there were new interviews with Prince Charles and Princess Anne mm -hmm. that had not aired before. You know what I'm always... And their brother-sister? Uh, yeah. When Johnny Carson died, Chris Stem pointed this out. You know, for three days we saw Johnny Carson footage, of course. And I saw the same ones over and over and over again. And he was on TV for 30 years. You know, you could have shown... They could have had multiple minutes of footage of him, but instead I saw the same two minutes of footage, all his famous moments, mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it's like that gets a little tiring, you know, if you see the same it stuff does. over and over. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like to see them expand out a little more. It's a nice tribute, but you do lose viewers, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what you want. Well, and, and, and just, just to show that, that you can't please anyone in the, in the 21st century, there's another network, it might be ITV mm -hmm. in England, and they were not showing... Or, or there's like BBC Four was not showing the Prince Philip, and they got complaints. Why aren't you showing Prince Philip? <laughs> well, you can't win. No, you. you so you literally. Can't what are they showing? East oh, Enders. No, you, you absolutely. <laughs> Upstairs, downstairs. You <laughs> cannot. Are win. you being served? <laughs> you absolutely cannot win. There's, no. nothing, there's nothing you get. What? How dare you not show Prince Philip? Well, whatever. you'll get plenty of it Saturday uh, if you get up. Early. Well, no, it'll be 9 o'clock on the East Coast. I think it's a 3 o'clock funeral. Oh, really? I think. Is that when they're doing the funeral itself? Will That's be right. On Windsor. Saturday, yeah. Uh, Heroin Scott is on the line to comment on the Prince and his passing and TV coverage in general. Heroin Scott, go ahead. First off, I don't care about the Prince's coverage, and neither should any of us. But secondly, um, the TNT and Comedy Central, I don't care who died, the president, whatever, Comedy Central would continue to show reruns of South Park, and TNT we continue to show 500 Shawshank Redemption of uh, Aaron 500 times in a row. It's good to know we have that to fact. go to. That's a fact. America. It's true. It's F true. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Heroin Scott. We do have more options now, I and mean, we could see some. The, the day the uh, Capitol was invaded, that January 6th, Biggie texted me. I was watching. Charlie's Angels. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Biggie's like, S is getting real. Yeah, he did. And I didn't know what he meant by that. What? I, 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 I literally did not know what he meant. And yeah, Biggie said, this, this crap is getting real. <laughs> I know Chris is speeding in her, in her Mustang. Mustang, too. <laughs> no, what? I love her car. <laughs> Does she have the red one with the white stripe, or She's, was that Farrah? That's uh, fair. She has white with like a blue stripe. That's right. The Cobra, I believe, isn't it? Yeah, Mustang it was, it Cobra. Was that, yeah. Uh, then of course Kate Jackson has the more sensible. Yeah, one. she got the Pinto, <laughs> Sabrina, Bobcat. <laughs> Sorry, I know every morning show in America is talking about <laughs> Charlie's Angels today. Of course, but when Biggie, Biggie's like, "This is getting real," and. Chris Jim's like, my God, the country is on the brink. And I was just, I just did not go to it. I was like, uh -huh. I just will not. I just will mm -hmm. not watch this. Whatever it is, I won't even watch. And y'all were right. all talking about, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> the capital is empty. It's the end of America. I just couldn't make myself. I just mm -hmm. wanted to escape it with something else and bury my head in the sand. The next day, all, you know, all the radio, when we we're getting ready to cover the story, all the uh, the folks who do this for a living, like our mentors and the people that give you advice, are like, 
Well, surely you were glued to it for hours yesterday. And I was like, well, no, I was watching something else. <laughs> I was over on Comet TV. Be honest TV. with your audience. Tell them how you feel. Right. Well, I think that Jill Monroe is... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I, I, didn't I, I, I didn't get the credit really you deserve. Let me tell you something. I think Cheryl Ladd really was a nice replacement for uh, Farrell. Solid. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> Way solid. solid. And then close to, I mean, just, just a few inches away I from mean, being to, absolutely the same. Exactly. To me, smarter, little, I thought. Than best me. little sister in the biz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, when it lost a step was when uh, Shelly Hack came in after. Oh, well, I mean, she's named properly. That, and, and then there was a Tanya. <laughs> Hack. Yeah. There was a Tanya uh, Roberts. Roberts who, who recently died. Roberts, I believe. Roberts. Yeah, who recently died. I just won't watch those. But no, don't do it. Anyway. Uh, question. Yeah. Did you watch anything besides Charlie's Angels last week? Because <laughs> by my count, we're about an hour and change into the show, and you've made about six Charlie's Angels references. A bunch. I went back to it a bunch last week. I went back to Charlie's Angels quite a bit. And during your family week yes, at the beach. During family I week. I had to recharge. I did. It was time to recharge the batteries. By the way, what my birthday present was, and my wife did this for me. She had, you know, remember I told you we were thinking about getting surround sound in the living room? Oh, yeah. She had that done. While we were gone on vacation, mm. she, unbeknownst to me, it was being done. What? And so when we Ooh. walked back in, so yeah. So now when Charlie's on the phone, oh my morning, God. Angel. <laughs> <laughs> He's He's over behind here. Where is it? <laughs> hey, Charlie, the angels are here. <laughs> Thanks, Bosley. <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's all it's really nice. The done. David Doyle lisp. <laughs> Charlie, we're going to Hawaii. <laughs> Pack your swimsuits, angels. <laughs> it's over both shoulders. I cannot even tell you. But don't pack your bras. <laughs> well, you won't need the, them. These are the 70s. You'll be working. <laughs> I watched the masters, and they were like birds chirping over my shoulder that were not outside the window. Yes. They were, it was unbelievable. Yeah, CBS is good at that. It was unreal. Well, then I said, let's really test this thing out, and I put Titanic on <laughs> to the part where they uh, hit the iceberg. <laughs> they and, always come home. I mean... <laughs> When it it shakes, the, it's a nice. you know, and my wife said, "I can't live like this." She said, I, "You have to turn that off." <laughs> said, what do you mean? This my is, subwoofer. I just got uh, it. So this is my. This is the subwoofer. I mean, it is right behind me, and it shakes the whole room. She goes, "I can't live like this. I have hyperacusis." And I was like, "I don't care." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's hyper, what I forgot. Hyperacusis. And she's like, "I cannot live like like we're being. I feel like we're being invaded." And every, mm. uh, my son and I were just like, "Oh my god!" Happy football. birthday to <laughs> me. <laughs> We were you're turn, enveloped. It's incredible. I turned on the baseball game, and I can't imagine football. I mean, the baseball game that the Braves were playing, and it was just like you, red hot, red hot. Right? Oh yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like you're in. It's like you're in the crowd. It was unreal. I love it. No, oh, it was really really nice. Well, they really didn't wear bras much on it. <laughs> no, they didn't. When they had a shirt, they really did. No, they did that. Uh, this is about Prince Philip as well. Dave says the funeral is this coming Saturday. It is only thirty people. They say involved because of. Coronavirus. I didn't know that. Just saw it on the news earlier today. And it's not in London. Or no. it's not at Buckingham Palace. Really? It's at Windsor Castle. He liked, uh, I had, I'd never heard of the place I was reading about him. He liked going to even another place, like Woodbridge or something like that. Yeah. And uh, he said there, or they were saying that occasionally the queen herself would uh, make dinner and do the dishes. Oh, really? And so, and that was his favorite place because it was like nobody got there. It was, mm -hmm. just, it was just them and very few servants, you know, and it was just, he liked it. Just to be a regular guy, apparently. Mm. Uh, well, <laughs> right. So, I mean, so, regular, so they say. There is a comedian. Uh, Kristen pointed this out to me. Now, uh, he died on Friday. Is that when we got the news that he yes. died? Yes. This comedian, his name is Lewis Spears, and he's in Australia. We believe he's Australian, right? Yeah. And uh, by the way, full crowd, small room, nobody wearing masks, and full. And he's on a little stage doing jokes about Prince Philip. He's not aware that Prince Philip had died <laughs> earlier. In Almost the as he was on yes, stage. Yes, like moments before the news the had People broken. started getting phone alerts. And they were telling him he's dead. The audience is telling him. They had to show him their phones. Somebody <laughs> handed him a phone. You know, no, Megan Markle says the royal family is racist. Also, yes. <laughs> Have you guys seen Prince Philip? That is 3,000 years old. I'm pretty sure he invented racism. <laughs> He just died. <laughs> <laughs> he just died. What? <laughs> it is 
with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, the Royal Highness. He's reading the phone. Yeah, he's got the phone now. The news alert. That's our tribute. 